Hey everybody, welcome to Arts and Craft Beer. We forgot to pour beer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Most important part. The camera. You want to be able to, like the circle thing. The circle thing. Hey everybody, you are watching Arts and Craft Beer. beer. Yeah, beer. We get together uh, once a month. Uh, Sarah and I, Amanda, we have an excuse to drink beer and um, also arts, arts and crafts are fun. Yes, they are. Especially when there's no three-year-olds touching the glitter. Mm. Very true. <laughs> that makes it not nearly as fun. But you take away a three-year-old with glitter and you add in some lovely craft beers mm -hmm. and you're good to go. Absolutely. So today we have um, two beers. We have uh, Waypoint Coffee Porter right here in Maine, where we are from. Um, they're out of Portland. This is in collaboration with Tandem uh, Coffee Roasters, also in Portland. And the other necessity. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, coffee and beer. Like they are part of the survival kit of being a mom. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these fine folks are out of Portland. Sarah happens to know that this is one of my favorites. This is like the best iced coffee out there. It's actually, it's not true. It is iced coffee season for me because it starts as soon as we hit like anything above freezing. So. <laughs> or from Maine, what else did it hit? Yeah. Um, and you were just down in Florida, so you actually brought back um, Bell Cow, not mm -hmm. Cowbell. No. My brain wants to say Cowbell. <laughs> and it's from J Dubs uh, Brewing Company. They're in Sarasota, Florida. This one, I've seen this can before, but I don't know if that means I've drank this beer before. Yeah. I, I happened to go into in Tarpon Springs up there. I went in and they had kicked out all the national brewing companies out of their like little, I don't know, within their shopping plaza you can have alcohol and drink and mm -hmm. they kicked out all the national companies and went with just the local craft. So they had like 10 to 15 at least craft beers on and like a couple wow. ciders and stuff. So the lady, and you can try any of them, like little, you know, almost like jello shot glass <laughs> tastings. But We have no idea about any of them. <laughs> yeah, but so the lady was was nice enough to like ask my tastes and and she picked out this one and a couple other ones from try. It was great. Yeah. So, and I thought Amanda would enjoy it. Yeah. Who doesn't like another dark? Beer? Yeah, dark beers are good. It says milk chocolate on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, sometimes you just need chocolate. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So which one should we go with first? You've had them both. Which one is? I don't oh. know. I mean, to be honest with you, I only had this once. I didn't actually. Well, we know that we love this one. Oh, absolutely. So let's see. Amanda's save. had it on tap for me. I've had it on tap right here in this house. Uh, right now we have a Hellas called Damn It to Hellas. Which is amazing. It is. It's from Foul Mouths in South Portland. And I drink out of big cups for that one. If you want to watch I have some pictures of, of that <laughs> and a video. <laughs> St. Patrick's Day wouldn't be complete without mm. Amanda and her big cup. No. Uh, if you want to be able to follow along on some of those crazy adventures, make sure you head over to Instagram, where I post all kinds of nonsense, um, at Great Beer Adventure. Great Beer Adventure being my podcast. But i bum bum cha <laughs> Okay, so let's start with this guy. So the uh, cow bell, bell cow. Yeah, you're gonna say that wrong every time. I am, because I want, I need more, more cow, cow bell. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's start with this. Um, I should be polite and pour you first, but I'm not going to. Yeah, that's all right. I did bring it for you, so. There you go. <laughs> and I'll let you pour your own. Oh, excellent. So let's see if I can spill this one. So again, it's Oh, not... it smells like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. I mean, it's not as thick as like our stouts, but I really... Yeah. It's well, a porter, yeah. you know. Well, so cheers. I want cheers to, smell to the first tootsie episode. Roll. Cheers. Um, episode. Oh, Tootsie Roll. Yeah. Blend this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's... Yeah, sorry. That's I was at Zumba this morning. <laughs> <laughs> when you see a 90 year old doing that. I was eating them. cake. Yeah. Well, <laughs> different, yeah. different lifestyle. Yeah. Oh, it, it tastes like a liquid Tootsie Roll. And yeah, it's not as thick. It's more in the uh, porter style of mm. thickness that we mm -hmm. see around here. Um, but in Florida, I don't think you would want no. something thicker. No. There was that brewery that I really wanted to go to, though. Angry yeah. Chair. Next time. Next time. Next time. All right, so let's go uh, move right into our arts and crafts at this point. Mm, okay. Okay? So All this right. is how we do it. We go on to Pinterest. We just go into the app, and we type in some words. 
So today we this typed in spring. Yes, because we want it to be spring. We want it to be spring. Art, because mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Yep. Easy. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and of course, beer, because mm -hmm. this is an arts and crafts beer show. So we got to have beer in there. <laughs> so we are going to be making these beautiful flowers out of bottle tops. Awesome. Yeah. So bottle well, that's top, really neat. Yeah. We're not going to look at any directions because that seems no. that's a lot of work. Yeah. We're not going to do that. So um, we're going to go and collect our supplies. And we are going to probably finish this beer and we'll start with the next one when we get back to you. Yeah. So see you in a minute. Cheers. Cheers. So we're back. Sarah has not drank all of her beer yet. Okay, so we collected what we think is needed. So I do have some arts and craft supplies. So hence why we actually have paint and a glue gun. Not a um, glue stick. No, we shouldn't use a glue stick. <laughs> That'll not hold. Also, um, this this is the type of wire you use to hang up um, ceilings like this. Oh. And we have a whole bunch like a left. Top ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna let you handle that. Possibly. Got this box. It's a very sturdy uh, banded horn box. Happen to have uh, bottle caps. Uh, we got some Lagunitas, some Sam Adams. You know, these are like really good founders. Really good. Like, yeah. Sometimes we like to have special meals, like paired with mm. special beers. But um, I find that they also happen to still be the ones that you get in bottles. Yeah, I've noticed that there's been that big change, change, trend, change, change, uh, change, it's a trend. <laughs> yeah, it's a trend moving change. towards uh, cans on everything lately. Yeah, and I don't really see bottles, which is certainly easier to like put in your bag and take in your secrets home. Yeah, I totally travel with purse beers. You have a purse cheese thing, and yeah. I have a purse beer thing. <laughs> together, need to have some protein snacks. Yeah, so together, all we need is somebody. Is there somebody out there that goes around with like dried salami in their purse? Mm, yes. Yeah, you can pretzels, maybe. Ooh, a pretzel person too. A public call to action. We need a new, a friend to that is a prosciutto, a purse prosciutto person, a pretzel person. Then we could have. A ready to go party it's anytime we're all together. You can't get prosciutto and pretzels, we'll settle for somebody that carries trail mix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do art. What we gotta do is we gotta plug in the glue stick. Glue stick? Nah, we got plenty of. It's not glue stick. Not glue stick, it's hot glue. Why do I keep calling it glue stick? Because you're so like used to that game that we've been playing. Oh, yeah. With it, remember that game you play in college where you become either a president or a vice president or vice Amanda Sarah's S last name? Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> or, you know, you become the actual whole of the situation. Yeah. yeah. Well, we like to play it around children. Yeah. So if you we had to rename it. <laughs> So now our kids want to play glue stick with us. All right, so we're just going to open this up. Um, reduce, reuse, recycle. We're going to move the dead bird, AKA paintbrushes. Paintbrushes out of the way. This is from a place overseas I can't remember at the moment. It was but one of the Scandinavian countries. Yeah, a Scandinavian country that <laughs> kind of gave Trump the big old middle finger. I think it was Norway. Yeah, was it Norway? It I was Norway it was. because remember he said that we, we don't want anybody to come in unless you're from Norway. And yeah. Norway was like, no, thank you. <laughs> And that was the right beer. Now, yeah. So the beer, um, I saved the cap, uh, Chris Woodard. He, 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 he was, yeah. Yeah, he was nice. And he writes for yep. um, October. The so he, warrior, right? yeah, yeah, he took the bottle. I took the cap. I'm not painting this cap. This cap, I'm special. not painting. It's special. Um, so yeah, other than that. Woo! So probably some like of the flatter ones. Yeah, this one's a bit smushed. There, I saw one with a fairy too. Oh look, Eli's soda. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how soda got in there. Ah. Oh, wait, I know. I was going to say my daughter loves that one. Mule. Moscow Mule. <laughs> Some ginger beer. All right. There we go. I actually think I wanted to just leave this one as is and have that be the center of my flower. That's beautiful. I'm very jealous. I don't know if we have any more. I don't think you do. I may have to go with Eli's. <laughs> Put a little parrot in the center. Or a dog. Ooh, the dog's pretty cute. Yeah. My son is obsessed with dogs currently, so I may have to. <laughs> Oh, or you can have a dog fish. Ooh, that's a tough one. Mm. All right, so the others are just gonna be painted. So the flatter the better probably, right? Remember oh. how many petals we need. I'm oh. going with six. 
No, yeah, six and one center. You got like all the pretty ones, I'm jealous. We're painting them. I know. Oh, uh, I, I hope you didn't want to paint them blue. <laughs> Ooh, that one's a little bit crusty. <laughs> all right, we got them. Let's get the rest we, out we of there. We got them, all right. <laughs> I was debating, I was going back and forth between the dogfish head one and the dog, but. Oh, this dog's better. I'm gonna have to <laughs> it's flatter, it's prettier. All right, um, I've got a blue finger, you've got a purple one. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab, oh, that's probably not the right size. I'm just gonna grab this, and I'm gonna go with blue, and I'm gonna put this on there. This is already going really well. These are gonna be the best flowers ever. You definitely are. All right, I'm gonna go with blue, because I actually I have I blue everywhere. I don't know, I want like a littler brush, I think. Let's see. Oh wait, I have to paint the whole thing a color though too, right? Yeah. I guess that'll take a while. Right? <laughs> I'm not really Maybe you can do like about... polka dots after. Yeah, that's my thought. I think I want some purple polka dots. <laughs> yeah. How did you get a brush that was so that thick? Uh, I don't know. There's a whole dead bird full of <laughs> I still got a purple finger. Well, I guess I'm going to set the purple down here and try to figure this out as I go. All right. Let's see if any of these are usable. Yeah. Um... I might need to borrow that blue brush. <laughs> Should I go... Yellow? No. Let's see. I can't even like tell which one of these are gonna actually have. <laughs> That's just like a plastic top of, of uh... <laughs> It looked glossy. It was completely a trickster. As my trickster. Is that one coming to your kids' back? Your daughter's vocabulary? Not yet. Anytime my daughter sees a letter, or I mean a letter, a word that has like letters that don't um, do what they're supposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, she calls them a trickster. And it took me a little bit to figure out what, I thought she was talking about me at first, and I'm like, I'm a trickster, what did I do? But yeah, it was all about the letters, I guess. Ah! <laughs> oh no. Right. So obviously you can tell. We, we are, oh. <laughs> I don't know uh, that's gonna work. That, I mean, I think that's probably gonna work pretty well. Except for... I mean, if you try to do blue on red, you end up not really being able to do anything. Um, as you can tell, the level of artistry here is not it's very amazing. high. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to end up with more on her hands right, and her I'm face. Gonna, I'm gonna some more beer. Yeah. I think that will help things. Um, you should have seen me last year when I was putting together all those head pieces, those feather ones, with yeah. a glue gun and uh, feather head pieces. Um, oh, feathers and hot glue? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was fabulous. And headbands that go on girls' heads for, for Swan Lake. <laughs> they came out fabulous, but um, yeah. I decided after the first time that I needed to not have an entire bottle of wine before I did it. Um, I, got, I got blue paint all over this beer can. Oh, I think it's it's kind of nice. Yeah, was, as we, also you're very patriotic. Yeah. Also, as we are doing the arts and crafts piece, we can also arts and crafts our beer because what girl doesn't like to have their can personally, um, um, personalized, personally personalized. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so because have you seen this whole trend where? people are trying to make beer more approachable for women so they like make it pink. I have seen that. <laughs> and there's like glitter beer too, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of like, I need to at least experience that once in my life. Yeah. But it's not because, um. Just make sure there's no sprinkles in it. Yeah, we had a beer. I love the sprinkles. Yeah, I don't like sprinkles. That's my thing. Sprinkles are fabulous. No. Jimmy's. Sprinkles. Oh, I think Jimmy's is actually a racist term, so we should just call them sprinkles. Okay. I'm just going off of all the names. I used to work at an ice cream store mm. that people would come up like to, from different areas yeah. of, the, of the country. I can't even think. That's what I was trying to name off like all the weird terms that yeah. have come about. I don't remember. Well, that, I mean, we learned on um, St. Patty's Day that there's a lot of things that we say here. Um, for example, the Irish car bomb, which is a drink that um, is Bailey's and uh, with, with some Jameson or some other kind. We were using Tella, um, Tella... Whiskey? Yeah, what's a whiskey? Tella Modu? No, I have no Tella, idea. Tella, I don't remember the name of the... Yeah, I'm not really... A whiskey like a, drinker? I'm not really. I try to pretend at times, but... <laughs> I like my like... whiskey with a lot of water. Yeah, see, I've never done that. You're I supposed to have like one like drop water. of water oh. to open it. 
I like to put like one drop of whiskey in my water. Are you doing yours all the same color? No, I, I was gonna do three and three. Okay. Um, yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Copycat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so the Irish car bomb actually like is a time in history of Ireland that is full of turmoil and there's, it's really rude for us to be calling it that. So, um, foul mouth, um, which we talked about earlier because of the, um, Hellas. The Hellas. Hellas, um, Hellas. Can I have another paintbrush? I don't care what size. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they had a whole thing of it up on it and they were calling it Luck of the Irish. And I think that's a, a pretty decent name, but we gotta get the whole country on board because I feel like there's like... There needs to be some cultural change. Right? Yeah, there needs to be, but it's hard because you can't go into a bar right now and be like, can I have a Luck of the Irish? They'll be like, what? And so well, we need to really work on it. So help spread the word, everybody. We need to change the name of, um the drink if you that if you don't drink it fast enough it curdles which maybe that should be an indicator we shouldn't drink that drink anyways yeah well uh -oh, you might want to watch out you i am <laughs> possibly just gave you a, i'm pretty new, sure uh, i've already tattoos. got paint in my beer i think uh oh i got clouds in my coffee <laughs> i just got paint in my hair but <laughs> i don't know what color would go with red you're doing yellow well i'm doing yellow because it was like the only open that has stuff in there. There's purple. Even I'm doing polka dots with purple. Well, what if you did purple and then po red, purple polka dots oh, on there? Oh, good idea. I don't know how well this purple, you know, shade <laughs> matches, but this brush seems a little bit. Uh, yeah. We may not have enough purple. To There's do a little bit in here too. Oh, oh whoops, I got a glob. <laughs> I think we need to invest in some new paints. Mm. Listen, when you have small children, they use all your stuff up. Yeah, and they leave them open and Ugh. then you put them away. And Kids are the best, worst thing. Absolutely. I love mine, but they they glitter. tend to, oh, yeah. The glitter, the glitter is the thing that gets me the most. I've been vacuuming up this one spot and every time it, I get a pound of glitter. Yeah, I have slowly thrown away all my glitter. <laughs> I don't have two girls, I have a girl and a boy, so that makes it a little easier because he's not really into glitter and she's almost, well, she's what, seven and a half, so the glitter's not as big a deal as it was a few years ago for her. Yeah, um, it'll come back. I mean, I love glitter. I want to drink the glitter beer, but just once, because I really want to just take a picture Who of it. Who even makes glitter beer? I don't know, it's a whole trend right now. I haven't seen it though, I, like I've heard of it, but I haven't actually. No, it's not around here. Okay. The brewers here in Maine, they do a pretty good job of not trying to like go with the do the, the silliness just for the sake of it. Yeah, I feel like when you get to some of the more populated areas, you have to kind of go with the trend if you want to stay relevant or something. Um, we're just gonna keep painting here. Yeah. Until it dries. <laughs> we're a little dirty. Um, and. Yeah, so we're gonna keep painting, get this all going, and then we'll show you the next step. All right, guys, we're back. All right, so um, for the polka dots, um, I think I'm just going to um, take the bottom of a paintbrush and use that to polka dot things. Like, and see that how that goes. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a paintbrush that's really fine tipped. Okay, so what we're gonna all do right, now is we're actually going to um, so we're gonna move these over because I think the next part is to get our frame ready. Frame. Our like uh, to hold the I don't know what to call it like to hold the things the metal the metal the metal structure. I don't know. Oh, I forgot about the dangerous part. <laughs> it's super dangerous. Okay, so in order to like stick these into something, we need to have like I don't know a fr I don't know what else would you call it a frame? Um, uh, a rod. Okay, you can use a rod. I don't know, a, a piece of... All right, so I'm just gonna cut um, a piece of this. Pretty easy, I think you can handle it. I don't know. <laughs> and then I think that all of the... Just pull. I don't want it to come back and whip me in the face. <laughs> I'm, I'm like mentioning these things by experience in the past. <laughs> I'm not very good when it comes to 
most things. So do you think that the, um, the hot, <laughs> no, you have the pliers right there, I these know. are not them. I'm trying to figure out if this is long enough. Oh, well, oh. oh yeah, no. Yeah, I don't know, I just guessed. Well, yeah, but yours is way straighter than mine. <laughs> Question, do you think that the hot glue is strong enough to hold the petals onto the center or no? Okay, I think I'm using this wrong. You just put it in and oh, in the <laughs> I forgot how these work. Click it. It's not working. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I am a problem. Is it like a lefty version? I'm using my right hand. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. <laughs> I never learned how to use my left hand. That's right. For cutting, I, that's how I write. I write with my left. Question, this is very important. Do you think that the hot glue is strong enough to hold the petals onto the center part? Or do we need to make a circle to hold them all together? I think the hot glue will do it. Okay, so you we just, just have to do it, a lot of hot glue. Mm -hmm. All right, so I think if we just kind of like make like a little, um, like little circle to glue onto, we can just like fill that middle one with hot glue. And then you just gotta like, make it so it like sits up like that. You make that look so easy. Oh, it wasn't easy. I just forced it to do things. And then just kind of. So I'm just like twisting it? Yeah, like that. So that way you have something to like glue the metal onto. But then okay. you need it to like, poke out from oh yeah. right because yeah. you want it to not you want it to like not be flat on it right i don't know if i'm spatially able to create that <laughs> i just kind of lucked nope, into that, it nope. <laughs> wrong way <laughs> i think you just have to go like this you have a circle you go one way and then you go back the other like that and okay. then you can just kind of like okay do like that right maybe, maybe. i don't know we'll, we'll see find out. and then you need to just make maybe this. we should have read the directions who needs time for that? Especially when there's beer involved. Um, yeah, no. Well, and I'm, then I'm, I'm just you. I'm just making like a straight part in the bottom and then just like a place for my flower. So when I stick this into the dirt, it'll have a place to be. I'm glad mine's already like wavy-ish. <laughs> just follow the natural curves of the wire. There you go. Maybe. No, no, no. 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 We'll no. find out. No. I'll, I'll try it out. Now we can bring this back and I need to get some more beer. There's a little left of this one. What happened to all of this one? I have no idea. <laughs> um, and then I'm just gonna glue this onto here first, which probably is the wrong plan, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you go for that first and see how that goes. <laughs> You're gonna just wait completely? Oh yeah. And then that way I can get my girl to face the right way. I hate the little hairs on glue sticks. Hot, hot glues. All right. Is yours deciding it wants to stay at all? I mean, that one part is, is the rest of it I'm worried about. Can you hear the kids upstairs? You know you have a really amazing husband when he'll stay home with the kids. Yours is at your house, mine are upstairs. Mine are doing laundry. Ooh. And then I'm just, as I'm gluing this, I'm gluing the six around it um, in two points, like to the next, the, one, the petal next to it and to the center. Um, and it probably would be better if our petals and everything were dry. Yeah. Because mine's probably going to stick to the board before it actually sticks to any place else. Yeah, we'll just hold the board up. <laughs> and here is our beautiful artwork. Oh, yeah, mine's definitely sticking to the board. Oh, the glue and everything. Hmm. I think I may have put my dog on wrong. No. Oh, wow. That was just like pure luck. Pure luck of the Irish. Yes. Hopefully you didn't just paint your floor. No, my floor's fine. 
<laughs> wow, that's beautiful, Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do there. one petal at a time. <laughs> Let's give that a shot. Here, I'll give you some glue hair. I hate the glue hair. Let's see. I think that I would be better at projects if I had more patience. Yeah, it does require patience and possibly directions. <laughs> Directions are overrated. All right. Listen, all you need. <laughs> I can't even. I don't know. You need much better abilities than I have. All right, I'm going to try this. Let's see if this works. I'm going to go with the grain and make it like a. Oh, look at you. Well, I mean, there's oh, yeah, grooves. You're, yeah, you're a perfectionist. Well, all right. I'm going to blame my mine on you. On you. <laughs> on you. So, um, I don't know where it looks good. We'll show you close-ups, but this is mine so far. Do, do, do. Fit. They fit. So oh, here's mine. mine. Yeah. I don't know. We'll do close-ups in a minute. We'd show you from our overhead camera that we pr did, but we ran out of storage. I know. We need to get uh, you, like, some phone iPhones. backups. Next episode, we will be making <laughs> beer can planters. We're not even going to figure out that one from Pinterest. We're just gonna. We're gonna do it and then put it on Pinterest. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get the kids. All right. Children, are you ready? Can you? So, Charlie is um, a three-year-old artist. She is uh, my youngest, and she is gonna help us decide which one of these flowers, we're not gonna tell her who made which flower. We're gonna ask her which one she thinks Let's move this over here. Come on over here. I got you a stool, Charlie. We're going to turn this so that you can see. <laughs> All right, so we've got this one. And we've got this one. Mm, Which this one. You think that one's better? Why? <laughs> What's better it. about it? Um, I don't know. No, you just think this one's better the one, instead of this gorgeous one with a fairy in the middle? Yeah. All right, you're free to go. Charlie, you're the best. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting all spinach for dinner tonight. <laughs> you can come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll feed you chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. <laughs> um, all right, so that's going to... Uh, Charlie has spoken. Charlie has spoken. <laughs> And, um, hmm. all right, come on up. So, I'm gonna stand back. No, over here, we got a, we got a stool for you. So here are the two flowers. This one likes to go this way. So you're gonna have to look at it and then watch it go away. And then that one likes to just stand there perfectly. Which one do you think is better? The puppy one. The puppy one. I'm doing it by color. You like the red and the yellow and the purple. Purple. Puppy. And a puppy. All right, well, thank you. You are also getting spinach for dinner tonight. Whee! All right, you may now leave. So that was fun. Yeah, so the kids spoke. They're both getting spinach tonight, and you win. So we'll uh, see you next time for another uh, episode of Arts and Craft Beer. Beer. Cheers, everyone. Thought about one of the reasons why saying Sarah and Amanda kind of freaks me out a little bit. Because Amanda's also my middle name. Ah. But my first name was supposed to be Amanda. <laughs> but my mom didn't want to name me Amanda Sarah because my maiden name starts with an S. <laughs> <laughs> and you would be a mess. Yeah, yeah. So we decided. You're a nice it would be a nice ass though. <laughs>